Does autism exist? My name's Jill Bradshaw and I'm a lecturer in learning disabilities at the University of Kent. Um, I work at the Tizard Centre and we have um, lots, we do lots of research and we have lots of programmes that are around people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, including lots of work with people who are on the autism spectrum. Uh, I think this would be really interesting if you're touched by autism in all its many coloured guises. So if you're interested in humans, uh, be that as a parent or as a sibling, as an educator, as someone living your life through autism, then I think this short programme will be really, really useful. Really interesting as an introduction because it aims not just to present the facts of autism, but to give a little bit of an insight into the experience of autism. Autism's a concept that we've been talking about for around 70 years or so. And currently we think that around 1%, and so one out of every 100 people, will be on the autism spectrum. Damien, why do you think people should sign up for this autism course? I think this course gives a good introductory overview to the field of autism and more importantly hearing from people like myself the experiences of what it's like to be autistic. I'd hope people take this interest further and look at all of these ideas in more depth as well. I think I'd like people to do this course really just so that they learn more about autism because these days most people have heard of the term autism and because of that they've got certain ideas about what autism is. So I meet people, I'll disclose to them as autistic and they'll go, oh you're just like my friend's dog's cousin's neighbour who's a five-year-old autistic boy who flaps all the time. I go, yes I'm really just like that and they don't get it and they make all these assumptions based on things like the curious incidents of the dog in the night time and they think that's all that autism is so I'd really like most people to just know a bit more and not make so many assumptions about autism. Whatever your interest is you'll be really welcome to come and join us and find out where current thinking is around our big question does autism actually exist? Mm.